Hello. Okay, so <clears throat> excuse me, I'm I'm getting over a cold. Um, it's been a very week long cold, I I must say. But anyways, so this is the dress I first posted about on my Instagram. If you follow me on my Instagram, I I posted this a while back. I don't even I'll I'll check and I'll put the date I I started putting this into existence. Um. So first of all, I, I believe this dress is called the Heronymus Bosch. Heronymus Bosch, pardon me. Um, it is, I believe this is the current, or this this year's current season of dresses. Well, we're already getting into winter and everything, but. So this dress I thought was so, so gorgeous. Um, obviously I will never be able to afford the real thing um, because it is high-end Alexander McQueen um, I visited Las Vegas this past March and I went to the store and um, I really could only maybe afford if I really wanted to a $400 shirt but I opted for sunglasses and a scarf and that's all I could afford okay um, just to give you a price point, they have like an upside down motorcycle jacket skirt. At the store, that was like $7,500 just for the skirt. So I can imagine if you were to try and buy this dress, this would probably be around $15,000 to $20,000, which I, I don't have for a dress, okay? So what we're going to do is let me just, this, this video is just about breaking it down. It is a very beautiful dress. I'll go through a montage of videos that I've uh, collected from the Alexander McQueen Instagram. And I'm just going to kind of talk through it, show you guys everything. Um, I've been kind of doing some recon work, looking at it, trying to break it down like with my eyes. And I, I don't believe this dress is actually that difficult. Um, I know that sounds nuts. But when I sh I'm going to show you some sketches I'm doing right now and how I'm breaking it down like in my mind and you'll see that yeah it's not it's going to be time consuming because a lot of it is like you have to split it add the 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 facing have it structurally sound with the interfacing depending on your size you're going to need to put boning in it um I I'm definitely going to have to do that because um I have a big bust and I'm a little bit bigger I'm not I'm not like 15% body fat, so I am going to have to put some extra things for structure. And in this video, we'll, since it's going to be kind of pricey, I already bought two yards of the fabric from Joann's. And you, you know, you don't have to buy the same fabric I'm doing. I fell in love with this fabric because it's kind of blue, like the original Bosch dress. And at the same time, I love roses. Like roses is just my thing. So when I saw this fabric at Joann's, I was like, I'm going to put this into the universe. This is going to be my dress. And I'm going to be seeing Adele in October. So um, I'm I'm just going to go all out, okay? And we're going to try and spend the least amount of money to look the most expensive. You know what I'm saying? This whole tutorial, it'll be in a couple parts because I could only afford two yards right now. So what I'll do is we'll work on it from the top like the waist and up and then once we get that out of the way then we'll work on the bottom portion of the gown connect that and then see how many videos this this series actually will be um what else do i have to say yeah so let me just kind of show you some so this is going to be kind of a tutorial also a watch me i've never made this dress before um so you'll kind of see my trial and errors as well as me just going through it, you know, because I've been doing, I've been sewing for such a long time. So some of the materials right now are, are not all of the materials because I might encounter something later as we're making it and I'm like, oh, I need to get more of this or I should have bought that. Um, but for the most part, this is kind of like the basics. So this is a fabric I got from Joann's. This is the Yaya Han. She has like a embroidery brocade line there at Joann's. It, you could really use any brocade or, or jacquard, something that's that's kind of heavy because this is this is a really thick 
material, okay? <clears throat> so I bought two yards. I also bought some lining, because if you could see when I turned upside the, the fabric, if you don't put lining, that's gonna be scratching the heck out of you. So please, please, please buy a lining with with that matches whatever your your outside fabric is going to be also you're going to need interfacing okay just get all the interfacing because i know you're going to use it now like i said for me since i am busty if you notice if you go back to the alexander mcqueen instagram for the models that are like a size zero they don't use boning on the split that's right under the rib cage which we'll see right now in the montage but for the dress they made for lizzo she has a ton of she has like a a, a corset that you that they built in behind the dress obviously because she's a bigger girl she needs more support so those are just some of the things i noticed in my research i'm like coughing and hacking to death also you're going to need horsehair braid a lot of it in fact i'm probably going to need even wider horsehair braid than that I'm probably gonna have to go back to the store and get like a four inch horsehair braid I foresee it like for the splits especially on the top but for sure I'm gonna be using this one too this dress is just all about structure and structure and structure um, <clears throat> everything that's split in the levels of the dress it is highly structurized I can tell you right now um, interfacing get your matching thread I would say at least buy four spools worth of thread um, just have just have your whole arsenal at your disposal your iron your steamer um, probably gonna be doing a lot of hand basting as well with this dress but um, uh, we can do it we're gonna do it okay let me show you the montage and then a breakdown So here's the dress. See, I'm blowing it up so you can see where the split is for the thigh part. These are all videos from their Instagram, so if you want to go back for any more research, you certainly can. See how her top is just like a tube and it stops at the rib cage and see how it splits. Hmm. Might even make some shoe covers from the same fabric. I don't know, I'm getting inspired. But you see that sleeve thing it's so stiff and watching these videos i notice it it doesn't move it's just so stiff so that's probably going to have to be heavily interfaced so it's just yeah like it just it's stiff it doesn't move and see how it it stays up by itself on her shoulder Now I imagine if at first glance you think maybe there's like a petticoat or something under the skirt, like a light one, but knowing that there's a split at the thigh and you don't see anything, I believe that's where our four inch horsehair braid and maybe some other structural things will come into play to give um, the skirt that, that volume and fullness. But that's just my estimation hypothesis for the moment. It could change later when we do end up tackling the skirt.
Now that you saw the montage, I hope you were paying attention to mainly the top part of it because that's going to be the first half of this tutorial. So as you can see, I, I started like a little crappy uh, sketch. So the top is basically like two or three pieces. For now, I'm going to say it's like a tube top split in two. So this would be the bust part, like the cups, whatever. <clears throat> and this is going to be the under bust plus the, the waist, right? Now, the sleeve thing, I believe it's just a really, really long piece of fabric that's draped, but it is also really stiff. So when the time comes to add that to the top once we're done with it, it's going to be something I'm going to figure out for you, for myself, but we're going to get it. I'm 100% I'm confident in this. You know, really nothing I make on this channel. Usually I've never made it more than once with, it, with the exception of a few costumes. Everything I do is like the first time I've ever done it. But the more you sew and the more you challenge yourself, stuff like this isn't, it doesn't become a problem for you. And I'm not saying that to be cocky. It's just, um, you know, with anything, the more you do something, you feel confident doing almost anything. And that can be in any arena of career, hobby, uh, painting, art, whatever. You know what I mean? So back to the breakdown. So here's, the, so here, let's say here's the flesh, right? So basically you have this tube top, this, this holds the boobs as you, as you see these little darts right here. Okay. In mine as well, I probably will put in cups just to help me out. Um, if you're a smaller, smaller bust and you normally don't wear bras, you probably won't need to. You can just get away with not having that. Um, so, so let's say here's, here's where the boobs go, right? There are your boobs. And then it, it's supposed, let's say you, you, you connected it. There's two pieces that make the top, but what they're doing with this is about from here to this seam to, let's say this is a halfway point. I think they go a little bit more on the halfway point. <clears throat> they open up this seam. They open it up so that way it it ends up draping, you know what I mean? And then over here, it's it's business as usual. Except for here, I can foresee in the pattern making, I'm going to have to make that section, like I'll have to expand it on purpose so that way we get this nice draping. Because if you don't expand the section for the draping in the pattern, when you undo this section, it's not going to drape this deep. It's going to maybe just drape that much. And that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to get this extra long draping that opens up and it you can like see into the body of whoever's wearing it. And then of course we're going to figure out this <clears throat> sleeve thing, but that's, that's a non-issue. So mainly what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is getting this fit together, figuring that out. The back is also, if you look, if you saw the video, the back is also kind of the same. Like, let's say here's the split for the zipper. And then just as it is here, you know, the top is technically like two pieces, but the back also has like, I don't know if you saw it, it has like a, a small draping piece of fabric that hangs off of it. Again, that's going to be a piece that um, I'm not going to worry about until I'm, I'm pretty much done with the top and all I have to do is add the little sleeve thing and then that. In fact, I might even add this when the whole dress is completely done. <clears throat> I think that'll be my, my go-to. Yeah, I'll add this. Once the dress is completely done, this will be like the last bit of it. Um, but yeah, and then of course the dress also has, there's like a big bow. It's kind of like an, like a, like a origami. Have you ever seen like origami? 
It's got like a big bow on one corner. It's a very beautiful dress. I love this so much. So for the measurements, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our bust, the torso, the waist, the back, the rib cage, and also let's get this distance. Let's get the distance, you know, in your throat right here, there's like a little hole. If you put push your finger into your throat, there's like a little hole there. Let's get the distance from there to where you want your top to sit. Okay. It might be the same. It might be different. I'm gonna bet you it's different because everybody's body is completely different. So let's get this distance as well so that way we make sure <clears throat> that it's sitting on our actual proper chest line. So yeah, let's do that too. Let's add in your chest measurement and this, I don't even know what the hell you call that, but I'm gonna call it the throat distance to chest. And when I make this pattern, all these numbers will make sense and hopefully help you with your pattern, okay? So that'll be the end of this video because it's just been me talking a lot about tackling this project, but we're gonna do it. I hope this breakdown helps you somewhat. I hope you buy a fabric. I hope we can make this together. It's gonna be really awesome. All right, thanks guys.